me what makes the VMA so special and so fun. Well, it's just awesome that, you know, everybody can be in one place, and it's just like you're all here for one reason, and I think it's really cool. I think it's good to see a lot of peers that we work with on music projects all in one place. And what makes the VMA so special? Ooh, um, it's our first time here. Uh, for, for us, I think it's um, the fact of, that we've been looking at it for so many years and having you know, the dreams that we have doing music and having the possibility to be here with all of you guys today. We, Hard work's paying off. <laughs> we grew up in Denmark, so, so you know this is something we've been watching on TV and actually to be able to be here is amazing. This is crazy It's a little surreal for us. Yeah, for us. It's amazing. But I mean, there's so much art and music yeah, and different personalities. And, I mean, there's so much of everything boiled in one pot, so that, that's exciting in itself. <laughs> What makes the VMA so amazing? I just think, you know, people showcase new music, their new records, and um, everybody makes an effort, they get dressed up. There's always something a little bit controversial that goes on, so it's just entertaining, isn't it? And there's no boundaries. I feel like people can misbehave here and it's fine. <laughs> what makes the VMA so special? This year? Well, listen, I've always loved the VMAs here in New York. But Brooklyn, I think, is actually special. There's so many artists we love from Brooklyn. It certainly hypes me up, because when I rock the show throughout the two hours, I get to drop some extra special Brooklyn moments. So is this your first VMAs? Yes, this is my first VMAs. I'm really excited. I'm opening the show with Ariana Grande. I mean, I'm sitting next to One Direction. It couldn't, it couldn't be even better. Tell me about the VMAs. What makes them so exciting and unique? Uh, what makes the VMA so exciting and unique is I think it's the award show that the youth really wants to watch. Um, I think that, you know, a lot of the times you watch other award shows and you're like, oh, I don't even know who that person is getting an award. But with MTV VMAs, I think that all of the young kids and teenagers are like, it's their show, it's for the youth, you know what I mean? What makes the VMA such a cool award show to you guys? What do you think? Oh, it's about the up. visuals. A lot of people, you know, take the visuals for granted, whereas, you know, we like to incorporate everything we do. I don't know, I grew up watching it. Yeah. It's always something you watch every year. Okay. Pretty true, yeah. I used to sit with my mom. My mom's probably at home. Well, she is at home tonight watching, so it's pretty cool, you know, just uh, being here while she's watching. Tell me why the VMAs are so unique. Wow, the VMAs are so unique because, I mean, listen, it's just, it's all about a celebration. And who doesn't love a celebration? Who doesn't love getting out in Brooklyn on a beautiful summer night? Um, you know, it's an easy equation. Music moves people. It makes people feel good. So therefore, we're all excited to be here. Tell me about the VMAs. What makes them so unique? I think what makes them so unique I think is the that people. The people yeah. and the, the entertainers. And that it's just, it's just so iconic. You know what I mean? Everybody's here. And it's like in celebration of music and in videos and the art and the magic of it. So and really I feel like everybody here is so not afraid to be who they want to be. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can be as kooky and as wild as you want and people yeah. will love you for it. Yeah. Quick question about the VMAs. What makes them so unique as an award show? Um, the VMAs are really unique because they're, um, I think they're, all, they're only music, I mean they're music video awards. I mean it's just pretty cool that it's, it's still a thing. And I think there's a lot of really cool production that goes in the videos that's, you know, and it's, it's an art form. So it's glad that there's a there's a category, you know. What makes the VMA so unique? Well, definitely this year the VMAs are unique because it's in Brooklyn, my hometown. I'm from East New York and I'm so happy that it's in Brooklyn. This is like a dream come true. What makes the VMA so cool? What makes the VMA so cool? I think it's just, you know, there's a lot of red carpets especially that, that happen that you kind of have to dress for the occasion, but here I think the VMAs you're allowed to express yourself as an artist and dress how you feel, listen to the music that you want to listen to, and it's like everybody in the industry comes together, all together. Um, so I think it's just really, really exciting. Tell me what makes the VMAs so unique. Oh, you know what? The VMAs, what makes it so amazing to me is that it's literally like us being ourselves. It's like artists for artists just chilling. VMAs, MTV videos, the way we work, all our work that goes into like our visuals, they celebrate that. MTV is really great at ce ce like celebrating artists that are really focused on their craft around their visuals as well. So I think it's really rad always. VMAs, why are they so unique? They mean everything to me. I think it's cool to watch everybody perform and my yearbook, my senior year, I put that I'd be here. Like, freaking high school, I'm going to be at the VMAs. I'm on the red carpet on, at the VMA, so it means a lot to me. It means a lot. Tell me about the VMAs. Why are they so unique and fun? 
you have to understand that music is therapy. And there's a lot of people that have low self-worth. I call and email thousands of overweight and obese people a day. But music is their friend. And it makes them feel up and it gives them hope and inspiration. The VMAs, they're like a pretty cool show. What makes them so unique? Just because, well, as an actor, I love that I get to like fangirl out with everybody else. I'm like, oh my god, there's Katy Perry, there's NSYNC, as we know it. Like, we just like time machine back to like, 02. I love it. What makes the VMAs so unique? Uh, well, I guess being in Brooklyn is pretty cool. I think a lot of people that live in Brooklyn are excited about it. But, I mean, what makes it unique is that you have Richard Simmons and Beyonce in the same radius, you know? But yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. Ellie, you're nominated tonight. Tell me how you feel about being nominated. Uh, I feel quite excited, really. Um, I didn't really expect to ever be nominated for VMA, so everything's a bonus, and I'm just really happy that I got invited and I'm here. I love the fashion, because everyone goes all out and crazy cookie things. And then uh, and people have fun. It's yeah. not one of those work shows where everyone's like tense and confused. Everyone looks like they enjoy it. And every time I look left and right, something crazy is going on. I love things like this because uh, I love music. And, and just seeing music artists, I get super, super starstruck. Where it's like, it sounds like super humble breath. But compared to like the Emmy and the Bar Awards, it's like, I love seeing music artists. I think the thing that makes the VMA so unique is they pick a load of people that don't get on and sit them very close together and make it a very, very awkward, tense situation. And then something happens and it makes press the next day. Oh, so you guys are nominated tonight. Tell me how it feels to be nominated for the I was nominated last year. It feels good until you don't win. <laughs> You know, it's just it's just the young, exciting energy out here. So many musicians all in one place. It's their night. They having a good time. You got cats like the ASAP all in one place. They all ASAP. It's wild. It's that type of energy, you know. So it's crazy. What makes the VMAs so much fun? Tell me about this. It's such a great energy. Look at everyone. Everyone's having such a fucking good time. so it's going to be a lot of fun. I've only seen this on TV sing in London, so for me this is like a night of very special moments. What makes the VMA such a cool event? Uh, what makes the VMA so cool is everybody's here. So the VMA is first year in Brooklyn. Can you tell me how you feel about the VMA in Brooklyn? I think it's awesome. It's so huge. I'm, I'm so proud to be from Brooklyn right now. You have no idea. There's no way that, you know, you can come to Brooklyn and not remember the legacy of G.I.G. You know, it's like, it, that's another amazing thing about having the VMAs here because it's like, you get to feel the energy of what we were, like when we were coming up, what we might have experienced. You know, this place down here, when we were coming up, it's like, we would never imagine, so first of all, the Barclays Center being here. And second of all, well, number one, I think I should say the VMA is being here. What makes the VMA so such a cool award show? Uh, well, it's one of the original, like, cool events where people could, you know, wasn't necessarily black tie, a little more rock and roll. Um, so, fashion is cool, the energy is young, it's hip, it's really, it's really about, um, no, the, the, the other half of the industry, it's more edgy. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but people don't have their arms folded really serious about everything. It's a really fun party, and this one's really cool because of, we're back in New York City, baby. We're in Brooklyn. I think it's the start of something really cool, so I'm really psyched to be here. Tell me, the VMAs are so unique. What do you love about the VMAs? I, I love that it feels like this huge party and celebration, and almost anything and everything goes. Like, Dad Punk just walked past me, these crazy helmets on, and I'm like, am I tripping? Is that an alien going by? Like, what's happening here, you know? So anything goes. The VMAs are a really unique show. Tell me about why you love them. 
I love them. It's just cultural. It's music. It's just so much going on. So many different artists. It's like a big party. And to have it here in New York and Brooklyn is phenomenal. It's a beautiful night. How do you feel about the VMAs being in Brooklyn? There's not a grain of feeling in this right now. I mean, Brooklyn never has a moment outside of, especially like for the last 20, 30 years, we never have a moment outside of what the moments have been. You know, family, just the culture, the multi-culture, just everything that makes us those significant individuals as people. Brooklyn just gives you a thing that you can't really define in words the right way, but it's, it's a one of one. When you get that Brooklyn thing, when you are born and raised here, you can't put a price tag on it. And I'm sure everybody feels that way about where they come from. But it doesn't matter where they come from, they know it ain't nothing like Brooklyn. So with that being said, not only is it long overdue, it's so well deserved. Like, it's been owed to the city, it's been owed to the borough, it's just been owed to just the major contributions that Brooklyn has had and has given to life entertainment. So many different things that it's a long overdue acknowledgement, reward, moment, and it's just a festive that we could all really cherish and be allowed to experience as a historical moment.